Carl, thank you very much. And Sir Martin Sorrell, uh, good morning to you and thank you for being with us. Um, as Carl just mentioned, the upfront is getting underway this week. So first, very broadly, what are you seeing in the ad market at the moment? Is it still softening or are you seeing signs of improvement? Well, Deirdre, it's, it's afternoon here in London, so good afternoon. Glad to be with you. I think the, the answer is Q1 uh, was a little bit slow. We saw sales cycles lengthen. But if you look at the forecasts for the year, both from the industry, from the platforms, and from the media companies, there, there will be an increase in the the like-for-like -like growth rates as we go into Q2, Q3, and Q4. Firstly, because budgets will have been fixed. They were, clients were generally a little bit slow to fix their operating budgets. They, they fixed them in the first quarter of this year rather than the last quarter of last year. Not just the marketing budgets, the operating budgets that came from them. The comparatives as we go through Q2, 3, and 4 of next year get easier. For ourselves, mm -hmm. our like-for-like -like growth rates last year were around 33%. Uh, in in uh, Q1 of last year, and for the year last year, 26%. So in Q2, 3, and 4, they range between 23 and 29%. So the comparators okay. get easier, and we'll see, I, I think, improvements as a result of that as we cycle through the year. Okay. Um, so on Tech Check, we've been talking a lot about the role of artificial intelligence. And, you know, recently we've right. seen Wall Street putting together AI shortlists, or what one firm is calling AI roadkill ad agencies. <laughs> They're among the top candidates to be disrupted and displaced. You said yourself AI is a blind spot for the industry. You're laughing, though. So clearly you feel comfortable, but why and how well, does well, the lot, sort of generative the reason, AI shift reason, change it? The, re reason I, the reason I'm laughing, I'm, a, I'm at an a investment conference here in, in London, out of Canary Wharf, and I'm, I'm laughing because a lot of, as you know, well know, Deirdre, the, 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 the basket they made are, are thematic. They're based on semantics that, that, and, and views about what may or may not happen. We <clears throat> be no doubt about it. AI is a an industrial revolution, whether you call it the fourth or the fifth, whatever it is. It is a major technological shift, which we think at the end of the day will be net positive for our industry. There are four areas that we're already seeing some traction in and, and certainly some interest. The first is probably most importantly, is hyper-personalization at scale, which is certainly a net positive. That, this has right. been the holy, gra holy grail in digital platforms. And now we will be able to deliver creative quicker and more productively, but at greater scale. Right. So that's one thing. Secondly, well, Sir Martin, media let, me, planning. let me just ask you there, though, even the creative yeah. side of things, and I, and I think a lot mm -hmm. of things you're going to name, certainly the ad agencies have been doing it for a long time, but we're seeing big tech move into this space, Amazon giving tools that would essentially displace and eliminate the ad agency middleman. Well, so how do you confront that? Well, you're, I think you're talking about small and medium-sized businesses, and we tend to focus on the larger enterprises. What will happen, I think, Deirdre, is it, in a way it goes back to the days of when agencies, or and we don't compare ourselves to the ad holding companies, we think of ourselves being much more a tech service business, when, when businesses like that work closely with the platforms, we're joined at the hip with the platforms. You wouldn't, to be blunt about it, give your media budget to NBC and say, get on with it. You're not going to do that with the platforms either, but you will be able to reduce planning and buying. Why rely mm -hmm. on a 25-year-old media buyer when an algorithm can deliver that more effectively, particularly yeah. over, over time? And we will there be there to check the results and verify the results and make sure the platform is delivering the promise. So yeah. GMAT, it, which has been developed at Google for several years already, this is nothing new. Google's involvement in AI goes back to 2014. Mm -hmm. GMAT is a very good example where Google is building media planning and buying directly with clients through, through agency partners, almost as resellers, there right. I say it, in order to do it. So that's a second area where we see it. We well, see AI as a super a super tool, which our clients, our so people Martin, can use. We are to we're running processes. out of time.